Jessica Heredia with PLG Estates and today I'm going to talk to you about staging. Not only do you have um, choices in staging when it comes to budget, but we're going to talk about maybe what type of staging you want to consider when selling your home. Statistically, we know that homes that are staged sell at a higher price and at a faster rate. Choices in staging would be, I would say maybe one of three or four. And what that would potentially look like would be, you have the very top, the full Monty, where you do a full staging of all of the living spaces, including the bedrooms, the bathrooms, all of the accessories, and any outdoor patio furniture that you might use for the exterior. That would be a full blown staging. Um, a next choice, which is something in between, would be maybe doing, leaving out the patio furniture, just doing the inside living spaces and maybe the master bedroom. And then a third option would be, if you're trying to cut back and really watch your budget a little bit more, would be just doing the living spaces. So your living room, family room, dining room, kitchen, and maybe the bathrooms, leaving out your bedrooms and the patio furniture. The importance of staging and the purpose of it is to create a vision and to create an emotional effect as someone who's walking through the home. Something else that I want to talk to you about is it's important to stage any awkward spaces. If there's a space in a house of um, a home that has had additions after additions that kind of don't make sense or flow that well together, might be a good idea to do staging with those spaces to make them look intentional. Thanks for joining in and hope you have a great day. Bye!